Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new vlog. Oh, we got a little meat. So I'm officially out of quarantine today. So me and my girlfriend, Sam, are going to go to her cottage and film some cooking videos. Hey, the meat is sweet. Look at how cute he is. Look at how cute. He's literally the cutest thing ever created. Why are you so cute? And I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna show you my, like kind of like a day in the life, I guess. I slept in today because, yeah, I just slept in a lot today. It's like noon. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and be productive for the rest of the day. I have like four brand deals to film. We're gonna go grocery shopping and make some vegan tacos. So we're gonna film that as well. I guess I'll just get started with how I start my day and Sam's on her way over now. So last week I got these really nice treats because it was the dog's birthday and this company, Pastelix Coco, they sent me the craziest spread of vegan desserts and pastries. It was mind blowing. They were all so delicious and the dogs loved the cake so much. It was the cutest thing I've ever seen. So I'm going to show you guys all of that right now because it is literally gonna make your day how cute it was when the dogs were eating the cake. If you guys wanna check out the company, I'm gonna link them in the description below. They're from Ottawa and they are so amazing and I never felt like so lucky and so humble when I woke up to all this stuff. It made my quarantine so much better. So check it out. Flashback. Happy birth, cause it's their birthdays. Oh no, it's your birthday. Their birthdays were last week. Well, Loki's was yesterday and Romy's was last week. Look these are gonna at right everything now. this company sent me. I'm gonna tag them right here. <gasps> no, I am spoiled. Oh my. He's a gluten free. Oh my God. Guys, what did I do to deserve this? <gasps> oh my God. All right, well, this is the best day of my life. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna put their handle right here of the dogs with the cake that this company sent me. Happy Whoop Day! Loki, why are you the most spoiled dog in the whole wide world, hey? He's you like, like your cake? You like your cake, babies? Good boy, good boys. <gasps> you guys are so spoiled. Loki, is that my cake? Is that my cake? <laughs> Look at him, he's like, nope, you can't have any. Happy birthday, guys. There we go, Romeo's eating it. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. This is the cutest day of my life. I'm so happy. You're such a good boy, baby. Look, you can have some too. <laughs> Look how pissed he looks. He's like, F this little fluff. How dare this fluff. Steal my birthday cake. It's both your birthdays. You guys have the same birthday. End of flashback. I'm going to make some coffee. I usually can't eat right when I wake up. I usually try to fast for as long as I can, but still on LA time. So technically it's like 10 a.m. from here right now, 9 a.m. from here right now. So that's why it's like really easy for me to spend when I'm here because I'm always on the wrong time zone. So I'm gonna make some coffee and I'm gonna use some gluten-free oat milk for my coffee and some sweetener just a little bit because usually I use like a vegan creamer and it's really thick and I don't have that here in, in Ottawa. And then I'm gonna do a light face of makeup. I'll show you guys that quickly and then my friend Sam should be here any minute. And then hopefully by then I'll be hungry and then we'll get started with the day. So I think it's really bad in this bathroom, but if anyone's interested in a super light makeup tutorial really quick in the middle of this vlog, I'm gonna show you guys what I do. If you don't care, then skip the next few minutes. So foundation all over my face, concealer, my super sponge, concealer round two. I also have to film videos today, so it isn't like a complete natural look that I would usually do. If I'm doing super natural, I of course only do one layer of concealer, I don't do two. And I wouldn't wear any mascara. This isn't even sped up right now. This is literally how fast I go when I'm in a rush. Thank God, honestly, I'm just gonna take a minute to appreciate Instagram filters because 
there's like a natural one that I use and it just kind of smooths your skin. Thank God for that filter or else I would have to spend probably a normal amount of time on makeup instead of just rushing it. So this is the final product of my natural but still kind of have makeup on my face look. So mascara and a little bit of um, eyeliner under here, just a little tiny bit. Brows a little bit lighter than usual, some highlight bronzer, and then usually I'll keep my lips natural or put like a little lip plumper. And yeah, so this is my daytime look for today. I'm gonna go film some brand deals and then hit the road. We're on the road, we're late. I have an interview in three minutes <laughs> and we are super rushed, but we're getting stuff done. Look at us go. Sam's ready. First day out of quarantine. We're gonna hit the cottage. I miss you. I miss you too. Romy's ready for the cottage. So is Daisy. Daisy. Hey, baby. So yeah, I'm gonna do the interview and then we'll keep vlogging. Update, I finished my interview. I ate a vegan BLT and now we're still on the road. We're not too far. It's actually pretty close to your cottage. Yeah, it's only about 15 more minutes. We're gonna go, oh, my necklaces. We're gonna go to the grocery store, pick up some vegan food to make- Vegan tacos. Vegan tacos. Woo! That's, that's all we're doing. We're gonna make some good, good eats. Good vegan food. And get some photos in Go the label, some Fashion Nova. If you guys haven't checked out her brand, check it out. It's super pretty, super nice. So I stayed in the car to watch the puppers. Daisy, Romy. He's like, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Who's excited for vegan tacos? Me. Well, that makes me excited to be here at the cottage. We made it. It's fucking cold. <laughs> it's so cold. Romy, come on, baby. Come on, little chicken. Are we over at a cottage? Where are we, baby? It's so cute. Uh, so I just did the WAP on the lake. We got Sam and some Farrago the label, my new swim that's coming out very soon, new print and a new design. And we got a bummies and we're gonna take some photos. It is gloomy out, but we're gonna make it work. We got bikini number two model time. Let's see. Oh, 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 juicy. oh, juicy, juicy, juicy. New print, new design coming out soon. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> We're gonna <laughs> So this is everything that we got for our vegan tacos. Um, guacamole, tortillas, salsa. Italian veggie ground round. You can also get Mexican or plain from Eve's. Some vegan cheese, one pepper, one onion, and a lime meal, a lime. So simple, so easy, being vegan, just so easy. Why eat meat when you have this delicious alternative to meat? Why eat cheese when you have a vegan grating block cheese that's so good and so real tasting? Why? <laughs> So we're about to film a video for Sam's channel. We're cooking vegan tacos. A little setup right here. So if you wanna see us cook some vegan tacos and talk about probably some juicy stuff, it's on her channel. I'll put the link here or below, I'm not sure, but I'll put the link somewhere in this. And you can see us make some bomb ass vegan tacos. Lit. <laughs> a few minutes later. Look. What do we got here? Oh my gosh. The cheese is melted. Oh, it did. It looks so good. It's like creamy. Yeah, it is. See, that little bit of water really helped. Yes, yeah. Oh, we're building our vegan tacos soon. We got everything ready. It looks so good, so you really need to go check out this cooking video. It's pretty funny, so. Yeah, I'm so excited to eat. Do Are you want to hear about dating stories? Yeah, we got some fun dating stories on her channel as well. So we're heading back from the cottage. Sorry, it's kind of dark. And then we're going to go home. So I guess I'm gonna end the vlog. Uh, yeah, I hope that was a very insightful day that I had, a day in the life of me. 
I'm just waiting for Jeff to call me, FaceTime him, and then I'm gonna wash my face, do my skincare routine. I guess I'll show that as well, if anyone cares. I'll show what I, how I wash my face. I change it up all the time. Like, I get sent new products often, and I always try them out. I'm just gonna show you like my basic skincare routine while I'm in Ottawa, like the stuff I have with me. So, yep. Let's do that. So I didn't bring a lot of my stuff with me um, over the border because I didn't have a lot of room in my suitcase. But I have this little guy that I got from Kiwalino ages ago. And it's like, this is what I use because I love it. So I wash off my eye makeup. Let me see if I can, I'm not going to be able to show you the sink, but bear with me. Just some random. Don't forget the neck, people. The neck is very important. So, back in bed. I look like a newborn child right now. I literally look like I'm 12 years old. But, I'm gonna call Jeff one more time because I'm needy as hell. And I have such an early morning tomorrow. There's so much to do. But yeah, thanks for watching my vlog. I hope it was interesting and not boring. Probably was boring to be honest. Stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe, like, comment, let me know if this was interesting, if it wasn't. If it sucked, don't be afraid to tell me that it sucked. I have a thick skin, I can take it. I would like to know so I don't do the same thing next time. Again, if it sucked. Yeah, love you guys. Um, I appreciate all of you and I also wanna say all of the really, really, really nice comments that everyone's been leaving on my videos are literally so heartwarming. Like, I read them and I just like, sometimes I want to cry because it just melts my heart how nice everyone is and it's really encouraging and it's honest, honestly very humbling as well. For people to like tell me that they look up to me and stuff like that, like it's, I never expected this kind of outcome from the show and it's been the craziest part is just like people like really like being so nice and telling me that they are fans and it's just it's just really humbling because I feel like people are actually getting to know me as a person and it's just amazing and I have like a great little family of everyone that follows and I love you guys so thank you for the support and yeah stay tuned for our videos hello so I didn't want to include this as like clickbait on the video or anything like that so that's why I decided to just add this to the end of the video um I filmed the vlog yesterday but I figured um, it's been coming to my attention a lot, so I figured I would address it for those who care. Yeah, so a lot of people have been asking me about the drama with Tana, so I guess she was upset that I had hung out with Bella, which apparently is her ex. I, from my knowledge, Tana and Bella had a throuple with another person. Uh, to my knowledge, it was years ago. I didn't know the situation. I didn't know, she never spoke to me about it. I don't follow any YouTube drama at all. I don't even watch YouTube videos. I don't follow Twitter. I don't follow anything. I don't know anything. When I went to dinner with Bella, we went as a group of people. Bella, her boyfriend, boyfriend, her friend, her sister, me, and a few of my friends. I didn't post any videos. I didn't take any TikToks. I didn't call the paparazzi on myself. I did none of that. It was very low key, just getting to know each other, basically basically discussing the life and talking about OnlyFans and stuff like that. That was it. So then I guess she was clearly upset about it for her to react the way she's been reacting, doing what she's been doing with Harry. She's obviously upset about it. I would have appreciated if she had came to me and asked me why I hung out with her. Cause I would have just been like, I, I apologize. The last thing I would ever want to do is make anyone that I'm close with or that I've been friends with or that I've had a relationship with upset. I had, didn't do anything despite her. I was just unaware of the situation that happened with them. And I learned out after more recently that it was a lot more intense than I had even known. But I feel like if there was an issue with it, I should have been, it should have been brought to my attention by her that she was upset and I would have explained what had happened. I apologized for making her upset because that was not my intention. But I feel like her actions, purposely going out of her way to hang out with someone so when me and Harry broke up, 
the first person that I had like talked to after was Tana. So she was kind of like my rebound situation. I like cried to her so many times about Harry. She, I was close with her through the middle of this entire breakup. She knew everything, okay? Like this girl was literally like my shoulder to like lean on during this time. Like she, she knew what Harry did, like all this stuff. She was very in the situation at the time. So I feel like her comparing me going on a very innocent group dinner with someone I didn't even know their relationship status of or with or whatever to her calling the paparazzi on herself, her posting constant stories every day, her posting TikToks of her basically making out with him is not justified for what I did. It doesn't even come close to the same world and I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm the victim and I was done dirty, but honestly I was. And I think that if anyone has drama with anyone, they should confront the person instead of going behind their back. And it wasn't even behind my back, it was in my face. Going in front of my face and hanging out with someone that had basically ripped my heart out of my chest and she knew everything about it. So I think that's all I wanted to say about that. Um, her and I are not gonna speak again. I, I don't feel like I need to have someone like that in my life. Um, she knows me and she knows that I'm not a spiteful person and I'm not a mean blooded, mean hearted, any type of person. I'm like, yeah, I was obviously upset with the breakup with Harry and I was a little petty, but that's given. Anyone who went through what I went through would have been a little petty as well. So I don't know. That's all I have to say about that, but I just wanted to explain my side. I don't know if I should say anything else about that. Okay, so I just wanted to address something really quickly about my website and I figured I would just add it into the end of this video to make it really easy and simple and I know there's a lot of other things that people want me to address but I'll do that in the next video because I don't want to make this video too long and too boring. So my website, I'm stopping it today. There's going to be no more payments taking out. Whoever subscribed is going to have it to the end of the month and I'm switching to OnlyFans on October 1st. So basically the website people are amazing. I love them so much. They did such a great job with the website. Literally not one thing bad to say about them at all, at all. Like I think if you're thinking about doing the OnlyFans route or some sort of subscription-based route, I would 100% do the website. It was great. I will link them here. I'll give you the contact information. I'll put it in the bio. Um, they're great and I think people should sign up with them. But for me, I was offered another deal with OnlyFans and it was kind of too good of a deal to turn down. So I can't really say no to it. So yeah, that's basically why I decided to switch. I think the website people were amazing and it was amazing to get to be able to talk to everyone and share some extra content. But I will be on OnlyFans, so see you guys there September 29th.